Hi there. It's like, well, let's see, is this too dark? It's March 22nd, 2000. Do I look there? <laughs> 2016, and I am working a job that I've worked for over three years. Tomorrow is my last day there because I found another job. Funny thing happened at my work where we were getting squeezed in tighter and tighter and tighter into um, having to do more and more and more. And um, I was also told that... Um, I wasn't doing a great job at what I was doing, and uh, they didn't want to train me. They wanted to get somebody new in there, and that was four months ago, so I'm surprised that um, they let me stay. I mean, that doesn't make any sense that if they didn't think I was doing a good enough job that they would let me stay doing the same job, but then um, they ended up doubling it, doubling my work. Still the same stuff that they didn't think I could do, but they didn't want to pay to have me trained. And um, I was talking to another nurse who was feeling the same pressure. And I said, you know, well, we could always get another job. And she said, there's not many. I'm a nurse. She said, there's not many nurse jobs out there. And I said, yes, there is. So I decided to look and check it out. And I found that there are. And, like, the strange thing that happened when I started looking is um, it made me look at myself as far as what do I think about myself do I think I'm good enough um, to do this because applying for a job is intimidating to me and talking to people in the interview and all that doing my resume doing the cover letter what am I gonna wear um, you know all that kind of stuff for anybody that's applied for a job. Um, as it turned out, I loved it. I loved going and interviewing with people. I felt uh, comfortable with what I know and who I am. And um, I got a lot of positive feedback from the people that I interviewed with. So that was really, really a lot of fun. And I got uh, a couple different offers and one of them I decided to take, which is, um, I don't I don't know if I'm going to do a good job. I don't know if I'm even going to like it, but uh, it's it, it'll be different, and it'll be interesting, and it's the kind of work that I've done before, but I'm in management right now, and so I won't have that freedom that management offers, because um, everything that I'm going to be doing has to be done at a certain schedule, blah, 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 blah with a little bit of freedom in there. So we'll see how I like it. The Some of the positive things about it is that um, some of my friends work there and they talk about how they like it a lot. Um, it's close to my home, which is handy, because you never know when something's going to happen to your vehicle. So I can get there if I need to without a vehicle. Um, the benefits, the health, Insurance benefits are much cheaper, which is a good thing. And it pays so much more that I can work four days a week instead of working five days a week like I do now and make the same amount of money. So that benefit will give me an extra day off of work and still be able to pay my bills like I do now when I'm used to living like. So to me, that's an incredible benefit. Um, so I'm curious about how that's going to work. I thought you might be interested in, in that whole idea about if there's something you want to do, <coughs> excuse me, um, don't let yourself be too afraid to do it. Just do it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but... It's better than being in a place that you don't like. And I, I think that applies to everything. If you don't like the food that you know how to cook, try cooking different things. If you don't like your neighborhood, look around in other neighborhoods. If you don't like your boyfriend, <laughs> you know, it, it it's like what it happens is you come out for me. This is what happened for me. I came out of this little world and 
all of a sudden the world becomes a big world. And I was even looking at international jobs. There's a lot of very interesting international jobs where they'll pay for you to move there and they'll um, pay for your housing. That's incredible. But right now I have family that I want to stay around. I don't want to do that. But if I was younger and I didn't have um, my children, that would be a great thing to do. Or even for people who their children have moved out of the house and everybody's kind of doing their own thing, that would be a great thing to do also. So, ta-da! I did it. I'm excited and a little nervous and a little sad because when you work in a place for a while, um, you develop friendships and there's a lot of people where I work that I really care about and just going into work, um, I see them every day and so then I won't, that won't be happening. And of course, I will meet new people and form new friendships, but um, these people will always mean something to me, too. So with that, um, just a little thing on the end here. Oddly enough, the skies have been filled with a lot of lines and feathery, strange things that, you know, we know what they are. They're not real clouds there's something that are put there and um, now where I live in Wisconsin it's like it was 60 degrees or so today and then it, it's supposed to cool off and snow possibly 6 to, to 10 inches which is really funny but around, in March there are a lot of strange weather things that's kind of the interesting thing about Wisconsin where I live Flowers are starting to come up, and they're the kind of flowers that, even if it snows on top of them, they'll still live, and I think that's cool. I like that. What I've also been seeing a lot of is um, a lot of trees with the bark cracking off. It looks like, when I first see it, it looks like, um, say, a car hit it or something, so that um, the lower part of the bark has a crack or two in it, and then then it gradually peels away and moves up the tree and I think that's incredibly sad and I'm having a really hard time dealing with that because the trees are just the beginning of what I believe is like the total collapse of almost every little living thing there are other plants that I've seen that are doing really really well so whatever is being sprayed and going into the ground and been into the water system um, some things are thriving in it it seems like but maybe that's temporary I don't know but I do know that right now I'm here and I'm grateful to be here and I'm here at your service see you later bye bye that's my that's listen to that that's my grandson playing a video game <laughs> And I'm like, I don't, I don't even understand how that's entertaining when you get mad when you're playing a video game. I used to play a game, um, Ebony, which was, you, you have a team, you have an alliance, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We talked to each other. It was great because there's people on 24-7. So I just happened to work late, and I was up late. And where I live, it's cold, and then almost everything closes by 9, so... I got to be communicate with people, real people. But then the alliances attacked each other, and pretty soon um, there's people that come in that just take over everything that you've been working on. And I, I remember um, we were being attacked, and uh, I yelled at my grandkids because they wanted my attention. And I had to concentrate on what I was doing so that everything that I had built wasn't destroyed. And I'm like, what? Th this is a game. My real life is here, next to me, not on the computer, not the game. Even though it was real people I was talking to. <laughs> but it was just a game. And since then... I found something funny about um, life where 
I feel like everything's a game and um, that like I was so worried in the game I was going to die and now it's like no you're not really going to die there I'm I'm still here so now I feel like even if this three-dimensional game something happens I'm still going to be here not here in this body if this body dies but I'll still be alive in a sense that um, sometimes I'm conscious of all right I'll see you later bye bye